actually are looking a very surprisingly surprisingly rather are the ones to actually get on through considering that they are this is an open qualifiers team uh so not a lot of people were expecting them to be able to show up and actually get into the playoffs here hound uh most were expecting only one word perhaps even anbu you might even be surprised if you're like i thought I thought they were supposed to be playing now. Like, you know, hey guys, big Anbu gaming fan. Can you tell me when they're playing? I don't see them on the schedule. Sorry, they got eliminated here. So it's going to be Myth Attitude going against more. Really looking forward to this match, as we can already see. Famous uh, on the Reyna here. You like to see it. Yeah, we do like to see the Reyna being picked up uh, by Famous. Uh, Morphs tend to pick it up quite often, especially at maps that they... I think almost all of the maps, they do have the, the Reyna pick up, which I think is always great. So let's take a look at the agent composition. Oh, but before oh. that, though, Penguin will be able to take that pool one tap with Ye some good shots. Yeah, we cut away just for just in the nick of time to uh, miss that kill, unfortunately. But very surprising that he was able to control the spray from the Frenzy to actually get that. I mean, going down long with a Ghost versus Frenzy, he seems like that should be a ghost favorite of matchup, but a part of me got, got, got caught off guard there looking for the ultimate orb and now lurking on through nicely done gets the kill onto one fat penguin is surprised not sure where they're getting shot from now the ghost recovered by Nugent as he will lose the duel to Fidel wow but it's a two for one trade luckily enough they won't punish too hard on a long they will be able to score into a side very good stuff being shown oh, from a morph gets the plant for a long if I'm not mistaken so excuse me uh, not for a long so we do see that uh, coming in from the other side oh, of, oh we do see a big push coming in from Myth here. The Thai teams are showing up indeed as teams from Indonesia are now showing their fiestas. We do see, uh, we do hear a bit of a diffuse, but a very <laughs> aggressive push. Yeah, nice job there. Just using strength and numbers. That's as you can tend to do here. We'll be splitting the, the ultimate orb there for our Phoenix to make sure he can get that aggressiveness going here. Uh, good stuff. It was a really good usage there of the Silva drone because that way they knew someone for sure was hiding in hell. They're able to volley them off, prevent them from actually getting any damage in. And from there, the site retake is actually very, very easy. But a good job overall as well from New Gen. Using that classic for the double kill there, not the easiest thing to do. Uh, I think maybe a bit of panic coming out from the side of Morph. If that Penguin do, did very well to get that initial kill down long, uh, ends up actually just kind of losing the plot there. All right, so we're going to be seeing here relatively easy start here for members of Myth with the anti-eco pickup, even a Marshall there uh, being picked up. I do like what I'm seeing. A bit of uh, attack, excuse me, a bit of fights here happening towards mid side courtyard. It's going to be flashed out a little bit by Pakpan. Goes for the Molly onto the side. Has to be very careful. Courtyard here is good. Ooh, Fidel, wow, gets it onto Patipan. Yep. Patipan now going down as they begin to trade over in the garage. That's going to be a Marshall already up, as you said, on Poo One Tap. He's not able to find anyone actually lurking through. Oh, but a great spray out from two there. Mush two room, more like mush two kills as he's able to get two there with the Spectre now rotating around the box. He's doing a little bit of ringer on the Rosie. Oh, a good trade from Fidel. Wow, at least able to get a little bit more eco damage done, but still Myth again with numbers are able to secure round number two. All right, so looking at what we have been seeing thus far, it seems pretty standard uh, from a myth to play this out. They do have a two-round advantage. May put members of... Um, wow morph in a bit of a pickle here in terms of economy the anti-eco round was definitely in their favor and wow. as you can see already oh wow what is this strategy out from made in thailand attitude that attitude is feeling a little bit uh bucky perhaps is this gonna be the three bucky load on holding on to that bulldog and a marshal as well to uh, set up for this round. I do like Myth's uh, lineup here quite a bit, actually. I think they're going to have uh, themselves a fantastic time on defense. they got so many ways to actually slow down all these pushes as pushing now through mid. Famous is able to get the pick, and with the Vandal, he's going to know that uh, something's up here. Nice job getting the overheal off the Leer just to be able to cover a peek as well, standing nearby the uh, double doors is the Love family who's got uh, some love to share from that Bucky for anyone um, that walks on through there. Of course, it's a very close quarters kind of love there. Uh, hopefully, members of 
Morph are not going to be pushing through double doors. We do see a bit of an aggressive move here, trying to get someone into the smoke, trying to see whether or not there could be a Bucky shot onto any members of Morph. However, we do see there is going to be a one-man disadvantage. Wow. There goes the Hunter's Fury from Videl Wow, trying to get as much uh, room as he can. Mushroom will go down. Yeah. And Poo One Tap gets a shot onto Freya. Very nicely done. Indeed, nicely done. New Gen now spraying through the smoke with the Bulldog, but Morph trying to close off this side and secure the plant. Uh, very plant. surprising third round already having the ultimate orb. That is some impressive efficiency there uh, for the side of Morph as they're able to get the pick off. And then that just opens up the site here. Myth with like a half buy here might just try and go for the defuse. So that's not a good start as Cut already finally killed the poop one tap. All right, new, jo uh, new gen, excuse me, coming up from top side wow. here, not going to be enough, will be taken down, does quite a bit of damage against members of Morph here, very, very dangerous indeed for uh, the Love family, he does not have enough range to actually contest this, oh, but I speak very wrong, like, eat my own words as Fidel, yeah. wow, will be taken down for the count, very nicely done from a myth, as we do see two members still alive for Morph, it is going to blow as it is going to reach into round number. Number four. Yep, you ate your own words, but most importantly, I believe that was the Sage eating the Buckshot there. With that secondary fire, does actually give you some some surprising kill range. Pretty low on HP by that point, so it was a good job uh, to pick up the kill there. Uh, but indeed, it's going to be a 2-1 as Morph will finally take themselves one round. Man, so surprising to have that Hunter's Fury up so early, but that is able to get them the one desperate round that they really needed. But it's going to be a full buy coming out from Myth, so they're going to be going up against some really big guns here on the side of Morph. Uh, it's, there could be a bit of a precarious situation. Already going with that Operator here on round number four. Uh, let's see what they can make use of. But already Phoenix, look how aggressively he is. Not okay, so seeing how Phoenix, uh, Patipan on Phoenix is uh. going to be playing here, I do believe that maybe he will be trying to create one of these very close range picks with his curveball. I do like that Mashtum has spotted out the cipher mm -hmm. on the side of Morph on to after long so i think this could be an opportunity for him to actually get a little bit of information however he did not see how many members were there he only spotted the cypher out yeah. spike is towards c so they have to be a little bit wary on wow. how they want to push it out fidel wow will be able to take down a love family with a trap tap to the wall excuse me as we do see coming out through double doors is going to be morph they decide to bug out from double doors not going to go into c from garage considering there is going to be a two-man uh, crossfire almost a three-man crossfire here uh, from the side of myth uh, they but are myth... going to be forced to commit to a site here eventually though as you can see them not smoking off the b connector towards c we still have plenty of people in the site though left. myth have reacted quite appropriately to this one and morph oh it's going to be a bit of a risky push in now is here we go it's about to kick off all right, so we're going to be seeing how... Oh my goodness gracious me, we do see Patipan will be able to get the trade off, but Cut will return the favor. Mashtum gets Cut as well. Famous gets one, and Fidel Wild gets one for himself as well. Doesn't look good for Myth as they will be able to tie up. Poo one tap decides he's going to get out of there saves up whatever he can and lives to fight another day yeah i'm surprised that went so poorly for myth i think morph just kind of waiting them out kind of baiting them into the game maybe they're not actually going for the sites but definitely should have been more prepared for some action there they, they definitely seem to be uh caught off guard by a bit morph in fact is still expecting uh the last remaining member from myth to try and uh, make a rotation here uh, but what's really fascinating there is actually the fact that you are, you, are, you made a good call out that the, the, the Sova drone was actually only able to spot the Cypher, so that doesn't really give them a whole lot of information. If it was anyone else, they might have known. Maybe they're making a C push. Now that they've been scouted, they might now double back. But since it's a Cypher, it's really normal for him to be trying to prevent against a Lurker, so it's a very normal position for him to be in. So you're right, it was exactly zero information essentially gained from that Owl drone, which I think is what gave Morph such a big advantage into taking that site. All right, so normally when we see the spike being dropped down at the spawn here, it means a few things. It's either that they're going to be trying to go for a re-rotate because it's a little bit more efficient for them to actually drop it. But it really depends on where they want to be dropping the spike because if they're going to be dropping it in the middle, then it may consider that they may actually prod onto C-Long, maybe try to pull out a few utilities and try to make... 
and try to make them commit myth commit on to C. However, looking at what's oh, but wait a minute, we did see a bit of an exchange. There, myth comes yeah. up and decides to run it back, tries to get a little oh, bit of information, no. but famous will be able to get the shot off on to Patipan. Not a very good start for myth here as we head into round number five. Some good exchanges here. Jet decides to tailwind out of there. Yeah, the uh, knives miss actually. That was her using the ultimate, if I'm not mistaken. So that's two ultis used by Myth here and nothing gained in exchange. I think Morph are going to be playing this very aggressively now. Uh, they could be in a bit of trouble. Then again, you have a very, very defensive lineup here for Myth. I think that's why Morph is actually taking it so slowly because they can no, delay. No, no. I don't want to say indefinitely, but for some time as they're now going to try and hit him with the Hunter's Fury. This time out from Mushroom. He gets the kill onto Cud. Nearly gets a second one trying to predict it, but now they're going to equalize here for a piece Stop in this that. round. All right, there goes the shock dart in uh, to mid double doors. Does opening up a little bit of room for garage, but they have to be a little bit wary on how they want to be approaching this. Why? Because it is going to be a slight little re rotate left. onto A. Yeah. 30 seconds left. Good this one coming on to heaven. Really good read by Myth. He does. He backs out of the site knowing that the push is coming. Instead, he's going to wait for reinforcements. Looking for the pick. No, it's Freya actually through the wall. Who's going to find the head of Nugent up in heaven? Is it going to be the Omen? But it's going to be a 4v3. Good positioning here from Myth. It's going to be a a little bit of a hard retake for them. It is going to be very hard for Myth to retake, especially considering that they do not have the numbers. Morph is pretty much a hit, despite the fact that uh, Famous is pretty low in terms of HP. They're going to try to get as much. Oh, but Famous shows that the yeah. amount of HP doesn't matter. It will be able to get at least three and four, heals it up, and immediately gets the kill onto Mushroom, ending their push and getting the lead in round number six. Yeah, that was all the duelists there out from Morph. Good initiation and nice patience overall here. So I think this map, we're going to be in for a bit of a long haul just due to the ancient composition and the map. Pardon me. But uh, an opening pick on Jet onto the Lurking Phoenix, winning that duel immediately. The Reyna getting the follow-up kill onto him, and really just the duelist securing the round. Really good stuff to see. And, and, and this is one of the teams that actually they will like to run the Reyna. In addition to the Omen and Jet, it's a very, very aggressive lineup. It is. It can be a little bit dangerous if you are left to, to try and clutch some rounds on the defense, because you're a bit prone to be rushed down. The Leer, while it is good at long range, isn't going to stop you for, isn't going to stop a number of enemies rather it doesn't really delay them for so long as does a cypher or as is even a jet right omen with the, the smoke can at least buy some time but they're gonna have a little bit of a weakness here on the side so it's important that morph are playing these nice and slow making sure they can get every round because i think they know they're gonna be at a slight disadvantage here as we get into the side swap here but still in the first half they can be happy with their performance yeah looking at what morph has been doing they are playing to the strengths and not pushing out too aggressively considering that myth may actually have a little bit more of an advantage here uh, at certain at certain uh, turns, especially with Partipan on the Phoenix with uh, being able to run it back without that much consequence. Yeah. And I feel that that's something that Myth will be able to do well once they turn their composition on, excuse me, once they play around the fact that Phoenix does have the ultimate. With the fact that the information gathering in Cypher as well as Sova is pretty much effective. But we do see... Left. A bit of an interesting turn here yeah. on to C. Oh, whoops, cut just right into the wall. Uh, yeah, there's the Empress, so Morph now looking for these entries. But yeah, it's kind of weird. I feel like the the, the Myth Draft actually kind of counters this Morph at all, almost all stages of the game. As Fat Penguin good in the entry frag now into C site. He hears someone left. there, but uh, he's going to be able to spray them down just as easily. The Empress still not finding anything here. As Cut instead out from Garage finds two more, and it's going to be Myth once again with just the Cypher versus the world. But he does have this Bucky. Five shots, five enemies. He might have this here, Hound. I really like this. This could be a flawless <laughs> round coming uh, from Morph. What happened really well was the fact that they decided to push on to see Long. <laughs> Long live the Empress! <laughs> Long live the Cypher! It's actually happening! Now he's going to change to the Vandal. What a coward. Now, of course, Poo tap though. He's going to be getting gone on. They were rotating around to try and cut him off. And uh, Morph are able to punish him. But hey, decent eco damage getting done there with the double Bucky shot. I think he can be pretty happy with his performance there. All right, so what's important is that they were able to take down the Love family without much information being relayed towards members of Morph, right? It was shot in the back, didn't see much coming, but we do see Nugent as well getting killed onto C-Link 
And immediately we did see mm. that they did have a little bit of a C garage. They had C garage in terms of control. Goes up onto window, pushes up onto a link B link to C, and immediately closes in that angle. Yep. So they only have the spawn from uh, from spawn to C to actually worry about. Yeah, uh, I like Myth here. They're going to go with the double operator. I'm usually not a fan of the double operator lineup. I think this time it's actually fantastic uh, for two reasons. Morph, they purposefully want to play this slow. Take these some of these slow opening engagements and then try and just slowly take control of the map here against an operator you're gonna lose against you're gonna lose with that plate style overwhelmingly the amount of times that you try it here just because of the natural range advantage that you have uh their their lineup though isn't super well suited to just kind of rush in they're gonna have to rely a lot on the jet maybe the omen or the reina to get these entry frags uh they, they could really find themselves in trouble with this double operator's jet but it depends on what opening pickoffs we can get myth as well just so patiently finally they're gonna show each other but it's gonna be poo one tap doing just that here on Fidel Wow. Fidel Wow, that is. Uh, Fidel Wow. A little bit too haphazard with the way oh. he was speaking, but we do see more than one member here. Cut will be able to get the trade onto Poo one tap, and A long is going to be open. Very good smokes here coming in from members of Morph. They do left. go for the site on A, and this could be oh, where it turns away. over the head for Myth, as Myth yeah. right now has to get back in to the tempo to get for the retake. I think that's a little bit too greedy there from the Cypher going for the Operator kill. He saw on the cameras at least two walking through that smoke, the Cypher and the Jet. It's safe to assume that with Cypher and Jet both there, that the rest of the team is behind him there. Uh, I think he should have just dropped back uh, and, and played it safe, because worst case scenario, the Jet can kind of just rush at you when it's so hard to hit a Jet, even if you're the best flicker in the world. But now, it's going to be up to the rest of Myth to try and, and, and retake this site. It's A yet again, and a really strong setup here for Morph. All right, Morph right now with four angles being covered with four members. We do see Myth right now looking towards getting in the drop from heaven. Very reckless indeed. Very good stuff being shown from Patipan, but it's not going to be enough as Cut will be able to take down three and four and ends the round with the Love Family being the last frag of that match, uh, of that round, excuse me, as yeah. we head into round number eight. Yeah, that was kind of madness. I wish we had uh, a drone shot of that because it was it was a really good entry out from Myth. But I think um, I'm not sure quite what happened. The Molly was a bit off, in my opinion, there out from our Phoenix. Uh, in any case, it was a it was a good effort there. But but Cud just able to clean it up. He finds himself at the best angle there. Wins his initial pick, so he's able to really just gun everyone else down. As uh, more for we're not really expecting him to still be alive there. Now he's got uh, well a 4K in his pocket. He's feeling real good. He does have the ultimate as well as Morph will take their fifth round as we head into round number eight. This very, is a really, really good attacker side, especially against this lineup. It's, it's kind of concerning here for Myth. Very uh, concerning indeed for members of Myth right now. They do not have that much in terms of weaponry. Loadout won't be on full options here. So in terms of uh, taking some of these fights, members of Myth have to be very wary on what kind of fights they want to take. They don't want to be taking yeah. all these prolonged fights. And most importantly, they want to be catching members of uh, myth, excuse me, with uh, their guard down in whatever juncture that they can get. Man, Morph is just taking this so slowly. They're inching all over the map. It looks like they're going to decide for C. There is an enemy there. Much to room. Oh, no. He's got only a bow out. Run, unable to land run. the initial sheriff shot there for a kill. They do have the ultimate now. Fidel Wow is looking for a kill. He will get one now as that's already two members murdered on the C site. And there's going to be the third. Very, very interesting to see how these temple, wow. these temple rushes are being held from members of Morph. They are pushing it towards members uh, of a Myth as Myth right now. Oh, Myth trying their best with New Gen to take down more than two, but two is going to be the final number as Famous comes to end that streak before he gets the third and final kill. Yeah, that was uh, that was actually really, really good there. Um, I mean, it, was, it was decent from Myth. You do still a little bit of eco damage. I always stress this, but then I always get to point out why it's so important in the later stages, especially of the half. But it really, more are just taking this so slowly, really biding their time here. And it's not that Myth are being impatient and taking silly peaks or anything like that. Uh, they're, they're just simply, I think, getting outplayed here uh, round and round again. Uh, we'll see if Myth decides to now switch it up as they will send the Phoenix lurking on forward. Freya is in a great position here to get an opening pick as the Silver Drone will scout him. Phoenix could now try and go for this follow-up of Freya. He knows someone's here. Cybercage 
dropped as we switch away and through the smoke, Phoenix will become, uh, will rather become the victor of that duel. Nicely done by Partipan to get that kill on uh, to uh, Morph. And I think that it was very unfortunate for Freya that the timing was uh, the difference here. A split second earlier than it would have been Freya that get the shot on towards uh, Patipan. So I do believe that that's just a matter of timing. We do see three ultimate abilities for the side of Myth, whereas it's only going to be one uh, for members yeah. of Morph. I, I, I see your point there for sure on that, but but I think the Sova drone really scouted him out there, left him nowhere to go. Uh, had he started running out, the Phoenix would have instantly murdered him. Uh, so it was really just a, a really strong push out from it. I, I kind of, unfortunately, he, he put himself into a corner, got scouted, and he gets picked off through the smoke. He needed to be a little bit faster on the smoke if he was wanted to try and live there, but always risk the Phoenix. There we go, left. into sight. They go. They will be able to get the scout on the one, and that's Nugen. And down goes Cud, getting caught there by the trap. Oh, the second op shot from Hell will not connect out from Nugen, though. And the other will the shot bolt, actually. It's going to get blocked, but that Penguin now from A short is able to at least get the kill on Nugen. The retake, though, is pretty good. The Love family is trying to make this a 4v2. Spike needs to get planted in the process now as more fat penguin grabs too. That will allow the spike to go down here, Hound. Well, we do see Fidel Wow does try to defend, but it's going to be numbers against him here as it is going to be a much tomb as well as uh, the Love family, the last two surviving members from Morph that will be able, excuse me, from Myth, that will be able to salvage that third game. Yep. Round number nine ends in their pocket as we head into round number 10. What more does Myth need to do here in terms of the retakes? Because we do see that they aren't actually picking out members of Morph as much as they would like, but there are some instances where during the retakes especially, I feel that they're coming a lot shorter yeah. than expected. Uh, I think actually doing just that is, is perfect. That was a really good entry there. Uh, I think they baited the jet. They knew, they know that jets like to do this move, right? They do it A, they do it C. Very rarely will they do a B just because you usually get double peaks from that angle. Uh, but they always love jumping right onto those boxes, turn around and looking for a pick. Wow, immediately setting this one off. Fire here is Phoenix. It's going to be Pat the Fan with the wall bang onto the enemy Sova. But they laid down the Cypher Trap there and he literally, she just scouted and that's the easiest pick even through her own smoke. So that was a really, really good counterplay there to the feet uh, to the jets actually just just cypher and that just goes to show why he's so strong he, he's really quite incredibly strong against jets uh for that little uh little benefit there is we are now on board with our omen holding window here to garage he's got two members in that smoke let's see if he's gonna hold the angle as he begins to fire decent damage being done he's gonna go for the reload the peaks coming on through and he Oof. will pay quite heavily for that one Cut right now, being able to take down the Love family, we do see there is going to be four, uh, three ultimate abilities available for the side of Myth, only two for the side of Morph. Very interesting to note that we do see there is going to be a bit of a split here, a one, one, two formation for the side of Myth, whereas members of Morph, and I think they are having a little bit of, oh wow. wow, look at that ultimate, but it's not going to be enough here, Famous will be able to get much too. Teleports wow. across the map with that ultimate from Morph, very, very nicely done. Yeah, so so that's something that I've been noticing a lot of these SEA teams do, I think every team does, but I'm just noticing now that I'm watching a lot more Valorant, is they like to bait with a bunch of the sound cues, frequently we'll see one man lurk, or usually the lurker get really aggressive against kind of a common peak angle uh he'll he'll then go into cover and start running in the cover only to have someone else actually walk in and just stand in the middle and and destroy the peaker once they know once they think rather they can take that advantage that was actually a very similar play there the omen ulting trying to bait someone out immediately does the reina is able to just swing wide and just headshot him as he's completely distracted and that next on the round very very good stuff there good usage of the omen ulti yeah, it was a very good usage indeed, and they were able to cover a lot of ground and with relative safety because they had all the entries covered from the side of Morph. They knew for a fact that members of Myth are not going to be pushing in and try to contest it. So it was just it, it was just an easy decision to make. However, Myth could have benefited if they actually threw out a few lurkers here. But considering how Haven is and how dangerous it could be, very long angles to actually push 
push into can be very dangerous if you don't have the proper intel, especially yeah. from the defensive side. I think Myth might be caught up here now. I mean, they're maybe caught off guard, especially by just the, the how Largo and how slow this morph tempo is now. But, like, I think they really should be looking to play this one very patiently. Yes, you do have a Phoenix, you've got an Omen Cypher, and even a Jet to play aggressively like this. This is different because it's an Eco round. But I think they need to be taking it a little bit easier now, as that's going to be one free kill. Look at that guy. I didn't even notice. Uh, that's going to be a new gen. On to Cud. I think everyone else a little bit too distracted by the Hunter's Fury raining on. And great damage there by Patrick Venice. New gen looking for one more. The knives eventually will connect. He missed four, but lands the all-important crucial last knife. Two kills already by new gen. He's looking for more as well. Trying to wall him. Picking up a weapon now. Escaping out of the window. He's got a friendly omen as they're going to go continue to chase him. Giving new gen the 3k hound. That, I, that is what I was saying about myth here. Last final member for the side of Morph is going to be Famous. Famous right now is going to... Oh, oh. whiffs it. And it's going to be punished yeah. by Famous. New gen had a bit of a streak there. Will be taken down for the count. And we do see that a lot of this was basically oh, because of myth... Oh, but wait. Famous there being able to take down three. <laughs> trying to clutch it out. It's got to be careful, but there no, it's go. not going to be enough. Pooh wants that. Decides to say enough is enough from you, Famous. Now, I want to reiterate this. A lot of that happened mainly because that myth was able to push out onto mid, yep. as you can see already, right? Uh, they, as soon as uh, Nugent was able to jump into the window and take down one member of Moth very sneaky and very cheekily, right? It, it kind of threw members of Myth a little bit off guard. And I feel that that is where Myth has to play it a little bit faster. Because if Moth slows it down, what does Myth need to do? They need to push it and push members of Morph up against the wall. Yeah, I think they, they, they utilized two ultis there quite nicely, right? The Hunter's Fury didn't actually net them any kills, but they had three problems addressing them at once. One was the Hunter's Fury, which there's no counter to. Another was the Jet just lurking on in, which you didn't know about. And then the Phoenix was making a lot of noise and distracting you. So these three things actually all add up to a, a pretty bad round there for Morph as Myth are able to pick up that 12th. Uh, uh, the 11th round, rather, as we are about to go uh, switch before the half. All right, I think this is very smart coming in from Morph. They decide to go on to mid onto mid courtyard which i think is great uh, i don't like the fact that cut is going to be pushing out so much with that operator but then it's not going to be punished too hard tries to get a little bit of his angles here oh whiffs it indeed decides to drop the smoke another smoke there being way. dropped onto mid courtyard doors as well both a b to c connector as well as b to a connector from mm. mid has a been smoked out as well gonna slow a little bit of the movements coming from yeah. the side of mid but no casualties whatsoever on either side as we see cut right now bug out and they may consider a push on to a yeah and i think that's good uh, i think it's not so good actually uh, the the sage the sova has actually scouted nobody at c he might be getting baited here but they're still holding on a garage yeah i'm very surprised they didn't react to that information i think this is just more Throwing them for a loop now, getting inside their mind. I, normally, I feel like a team sees that gets that intel. Absolutely nobody in C lobby. You know that there's an operator mid, and you go, "All right, they're probably going to be going left. A or B then." And Five now points. they're going to be going for this retake. They actually have got a good start here, catching them before the team is fully entrenched here. There's going to be an easy 2K now before Cut strikes back. Very nicely done from Cut there. Oh, but you see that UJ will be able to take the Freya. You see them morph right now, not having enough. But wow, oh, wow look at that Cut clean house with three members of myth down for the count yeah it's down to the 1v1 here omen versus the jets and we do actually have that updraft and another tailwind here the love family maybe gonna try and bait this with the three knives though is he just gonna stick it here into the smoke now goes the jet who will be able to get that fourth kill and secure the last round of the half at the switch it's gonna be morph up by four eight to four well this is gonna be interesting for a morph here because there is going to be a swap they are going to be playing on defense myth is going to play on offense i do think that members of myth may actually benefit quite a bit but considering Considering that Morph has quite a high number, actually not that high of a number, has quite a bit of an advantage here for in terms of rounds. Is it too late for Myth to actually come back into this? No, I don't think so. I think this is the that Morph did the appropriate thing there and won by the amount I think they needed to. Uh, four rounds to secure the tie or at least five to win here is definitely doable with their lineup, especially if they win this pistol round. So there's a lot of pressure there. 
but they don't do a very good job of slowing down attacks. And Haven is a map that really is an attacker's paradise. You might even call it an attacker's haven here. With the three sites, a lot of interconnectivity. They're going to be going a bit aggressively here straight away. Double doors. Cud is going to be peeking this one with the ghost. He hears plenty of reloads. He knows there's at least one here. But the flash might be good enough, at least forcing Cud to use plenty of utility. Now the push coming from C in the meantime as well. Very nicely. Nice push coming from a myth. Decide to go out to C long. Immediately drops down a lot of utilities on the seaside we do see oh, wow. whoa cut was able to take down one player as well but patiban and mushroom decide to reply as well famous here from the side gonna go oh. for a bit of a ring around the rosies as famous has been taken down by patiban fat penguin will take down pool one time and it's going to be a one against two situation fat penguin is the last one left as mushroom will be taking him down myth pick it up and it seems that myth slowly clawing their way back in. Yeah, I think they're going to find themselves, uh, I don't want to say leading here shortly, but if they can keep up that momentum here, I think they're going to find themselves in a very good position. Like I'm saying, they just, yes, the cyber cages do slow them down long enough, but that, but that by, by that point, rather, Jet's already used her utility to try and escape barely with her life. Uh, Sova isn't much use at slowing down enemy pushes, and Omen had to rotate all the way over there. Unfortunately, they lose out on the gun duel, so it's going to be a pretty easy pick up there for myth and this should be two rounds in a row for them now with a morph they are going to be lurking very aggressively unfortunately for them the entirety of morph myth rather are dodging this one out heading towards a short and they're going to find a completely abandoned a and b site now We'll see how more of decide to react. I suspect they're going to be running their way over very, very quickly. Wow, look at this. Uh, very strange rotation coming in from Morph. I I like it, and I'm wary of it both at the same time. It seems that Indo Pride is also, Jostle is also backed up by the fact that they oh. are very brave <laughs> to find it out. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, it's like, yeah, they're all here. And they're like, literally, and they're like, yep, they're all here. And that's, you do not want to be fighting into this position. New Gen, though, going down is a pretty big kill for them. But as SMG's uphill battles. I mean, this is not really looking in their favor. Palatine there. They can one poo one time. Being a good soldier, just holding down his line. He goes, yeah, don't worry, guys. I got us that round. Very good job there by Myth. Uh, a little bit of luck, you might call it. But they are going to go ahead into A, find it to be completely disoccupied, set up a shop, and uh, just mow morph down. I am going to question uh, the... Decision making of Morph here, mainly because that they decided to go through A sewers and it's a very tight angle. Going up against SMGs, it's effectively like sticking your hand into a blender. Yeah, but the problem is that if you try and go through long, that they have pistols as well, right? And they have armor. So it, it's going to be a, a not ideal engagement no matter what. And and again, if you might be asking, why don't they just defend? It's because they, they really can't. They can't defend against a whole one-site rush, especially when they're ill-equipped uh, as you are when you lose that first round. So they find themselves in a, in a very, very good position here, uh, myth do rather, as uh, they're going to be able to dodge the uh, basically gank here, barring the turn from the mobile. They dodge the five-man gank and are able to, uh, to just completely walk into the uh, A site and take it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I, I agree with you. There's really no good scenario there other than just winning the pistol round, unfortunately, for them. But that's easier said than done, as we will be setting up for a lot of utility here. Spraying the Phoenix through smoke is kind of a big loss here for Team Myth. That's going to make them hit the brakes here for a bit. Uh, what is very precarious indeed was the fact that uh, Penguin decided to go for the Blaze and decided to go for uh, the Ultimate Orb. And I felt that that's something that he shouldn't have done so recklessly. The sound cue is pretty loud and yeah. I definitely know for a fact that members of Morph will definitely start spraying down immediately. Yeah, that's something that you generally do to, to fake it and then see how many enemies are trying to, willing to blast at you through sight, right? If, in your pubs, it's not always the best idea to spray someone down uh, if they're taking an ultimate orb. Sometimes it's better to just let them take it and let them think that there's no one else in the site there. Now, Myth, they know there's at least one here and it's a rifle as they will now get the location of that penguin. He's going to be holding this angle and it's, whoa, a little bit of a... You know, a, a longer one trade there, but eventually the duel left. will gone by more as they're going to give it the flawless after all. Wow. Impressive stuff for them there and a much needed ninth round in their inventory.
Wow, it seems that Morph right now picking it up against members of Myth. We do see that economy is going to be pretty strong for the side of Morph. Um, Myth may actually be in a precarious situation if they get taken down and they're not able to basically get any kills. If Morph gets another flawless like they did in the last round, it's going to definitely force an eco onto Myth for sure. Yeah. Again, it's, it's not going to be really easy here for Morph. Luckily, they are going to be able to bank themselves a little bit of credits with that Flawless, uh, and they're going to definitely need to in order to stand a chance here against Myth. Like I said, it's not a bad draft. It was good on the offense, but they, they are very, very vulnerable here. And uh, I'm surprised that Myth are playing this so patiently here. I think both teams a lot on the line right now, so they're just wanting to make sure that they don't make any silly mistakes with that Penguin rotating on through. The Sovatron doesn't scout anyone here. That Penguin is going to go ahead and throw forward a dark cover just to maybe lurk a little bit more, but he could find himself in trouble. Pooh one tap holding a pretty good angle. He's going to be hiding behind a box. If he stands up, he might be able to see that omen, but for now, they're just going to be uh, continuing to, to, to just look at it in each other's general direction, I suppose. Uh, but a good read here out from more if they don't see anyone at long A or mid B, so they set up really nicely to retake C immediately. Yeah, and it seems that um, from members of Myth, they do want to be giving oh, a lot. Oh, but Fat Penguin there takes out Pooh one time. Very unfortunate indeed. Decides to go for the dark step into a long just to make sure that he doesn't get punished too hard. And I do like the fact that members of Myth decided to bug out of Garage and decided to go away from... Trying to go to C, but coming in from C long though, three members from the side of Morph, mm -hmm. they are practically reading into it. Mid is still very much open, no. but we do see that there is going to be someone from B to yeah. C link, so that's not going to be an issue. But... Indeed, well, let's see what they can get done. Hunter's Fury as well, they need to finish off this jet, they're not going to be able to do so. Morph is picking them off all the way down long. 1v3 scenario, and they are going to be able to gank them from Garage. Ooh, that was a bit rough. A very good read indeed, and I think Morph, this is the way they, they realize they have to play now. They have to play for these retakes, because they simply can't slow the push down. There's not enough utility, but they're actually dealing with it very, very nicely. I'm shocked, to be honest, but I'm very impressed. <clears throat> I'm very impressed uh, too, looking at the Indonesian team of Morph showing a uh, myth who is spicier indeed. Res regardless of the amount of utilities being sp uh, sp used by Morph to basically slow down the push, they're quite aware of the fact that sometimes they're not able to slow down the push uh, whole, uh, as in a whole way. as a whole. So they immediately know that they they smoke out some of these places that allow some of these sidelines for members of Myth to gather information. And when that happens, right, Myth are not able to make a decision without calculating the odds in their favor. Yep. They're going to now maybe look to favor an A push. This is again is going to be red as no one has scouted mid, no one has scouted C. They've got the site for Cam as well, so he doesn't need to peek it. But on another rotation, they might be looking to just push through mid. The dark cover there, everyone's lurking. I've never seen a game this slow. It feels like everyone is walking immediately from when the gates go down until the first shot is fired with new gen he's got the knives out there's gonna be the flash right into b are they gonna plant here is the question as the knives will not get the kill instead it's the headshot from the sheriff of the phoenix i do like uh, this uh, blaze wall here trying to get denial of a uh, side line of sight from the side of morph making it a lot harder for them to retake mm -hmm. but amount of sight oh, here coming oh nice. the trap yeah, gets this... cut in his feet this is a really good hold, actually. Oh, nearly actually getting the spray. He is going to get the spray through the smoke with the Sheriff. I've said before, that's not really a gun. You spray with it, but they're proving me wrong already. The Prutong, the, the two-pronged attack here up from Morph is falling apart at the seams as they will not be able to scout one. He's going to be able to get half the defuse, but immediately murdered. And that's going to be a thrifty now in the favor of Myth. Not only do they escape with two rifles, but uh, they're going to put their eco in a much better position now. They've closed the gap to three. Unfortunately, Morph can still buy, so they'll be up against a full buy versus a full buy here. A full round, a full buy round here from both these teams, as we do see members of Myth as well as Morph are going to be going for an AR build here. Vandals all across the board for Myth. However, we do see two Phantoms for members of Morph. A little bit mixed up in terms of the AR, but nothing too different between these two teams. Yep. 
Oh, some a very good Hunter's Fury here coming in from Fidel. Wow, will not be able to take down anyone, but Cut will be able to open up Arthur oh. Patipan. Very nicely done here as they try to go into double doors for a new gen. Oh, new gen wow. tries, but gets traded. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Nice Hunter's Fury there. Checks for anyone in A, checks for anyone in window. Uh, so either they're going long, which is very unlikely because you must have heard their footsteps, or they're going to be in C. They predict that one very, very nicely out from Morth playing with the intel that they're gaining from the Sova Ultimate. It's not just the Owl Drone that gives you information. It's it's the ulti as well. If you can line up your shots there, you end up getting a lot of information. Much to him, then he's going to be now left to lurk through the garage. They have a Cypher as well, but 2v4 scenario. It's a little bit early to call for a save. I think they're just going to play this one really, really slow, as is no surprise, to be honest, this map, and see if they can get any additional pickoffs. Perhaps even get the spike down in order to get a little bit of the eco back in their control. Okay, so looking at myth, uh, numbers are not in their favor. Four members for the side of morph. We do see that both these teams are going to be completed in terms of complete in terms of their loadouts, but definite immediate definite advantage for the side of morph. More members in Freya right now getting a lot of information here, but no clear cut. Does spot one going on to C long as well and oh. going towards C link? That's going to be interesting to see how that's going to be transpiring. Not going to be enough as Fidel Wow will be able to get it. Fidel Wow gets the double and it's going to be an easy defuse for the side of Morph as we head into the completion of round 18 and round 19 will be coming up next. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if Myth are going to have good money here or not, to be completely honest with you. Let's take a look as our observer will actually show us that scoreboard, but I'd like to see what they're buying. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. They they might have to share the love a little bit. Some people are going to be ill-equipped. New gen, let's see, does not have that ultimate, unfortunately, which sometimes you see uh, jets kind of go for and opt to play a little bit more aggressively with the ultimate. So it's kind of a half buy coming out. No, no, they're going to make the call for a full eco instead, selling up. Uh, uh, hold on. I'll just wait a second here. It is going to be the call for an eco after all. But shout-outs to this more. Uh, shout-outs to Cud. Cud is playing an incredible game. They recognize that they can't really play uh, too aggressively here on this jet, especially on defense, because there's nothing really to back her up, right? On the normal teams, maybe you got a breach, maybe you got a, a brimstone or something. So hold that thought. Cud, again, just continuing to pop off. He's going to use his utility defensively here if needed to get back towards the team and play for the retake. Now Famous is going to be rotating on over as Nugent able to get the pick onto one. But there goes Reyna as well as Sage. Set up the crossfire over to B. Just setting up the killing zone. They hear them now going into C. They're not going to peek him from Garage, and it's going to be another plant, but probably not another win here. As more still have the yeah, advantage 4v2. Man. Even the Reyna is able to stay alive, dodging out the Sheriff Shop, going in vulnerable mushroom. Going to get only one more before he's taken on down. 12 to 7. Morph within striking range of taking this first map. What I liked about that was Morph Max was point. pretty quick in terms of moving back into the retake. I did like the fact that they managed to punish members of Myth, despite the fact that members of myth were a little bit ill-equipped they have to win this round uh, mainly because mm -hmm. that it is match point for morph and uh, considering that even if morph loses this out i think most members as well for the side of morph will still be able to buy out maybe with the exception of freya yeah. as well as famous may not have a full set of uh, a full loadout set however we'll still be able to buy some of the uh, tier 2 weaponry what i'm surprised by mostly is that myth made the call there to go for the eco to then uh, no! Assumingly, play for the tie. I don't think any team is good enough to assume that they can win an eco round uh, against full, full, a uh, full buy here. As that's a very good start from Mushroom. He's able to force him off of C, even get the pick onto the enemy cipher. That's a lot of information gone now here. Let's see what they can convert here. Morph. We'll see if they want to take that eagle advantage they currently have into account. But I suspect they're going to be looking to play this one aggressively and try and get the win here and now, Hound. Well, uh, there goes the blaze uh, up from the side of uh, Partiban. Not very, not utilized uh, the way I would have thought would have been good, but I think <laughs> it wasn't as great. Fantastic shock arrows. Those are some of my favorite things to see. Mushroom actually falling there to the two shock arrows, timing those to perfection. Knew someone was going to be holding. That might give Morth now the in, but Myth, they're holding really, really hard here. They know that they have to hold on to this one. Morph not really looking too hard for this round. They know that they got a lot of rounds to play with here. There's a lot of money in the bank, so they go ahead and save some expensive weaponry and just let Myth close the gap by one. We're out of the group stage. The round difference doesn't matter. It's all about who can take the map. Yeah, who can take the map indeed as we do see Morph right now still holding on to that match point. 
Ooh, very, very precarious situation indeed. Not so precarious indeed. He's still going to be a full buy on either side. And I think Fidel Wa will still be able to buy quite a bit for his teammates yep. as we check out this little replay here from the previous round. Some very good stuff being shown from members of Myth. They kind of realized what they needed to do. But there were a few of the utilities that I felt that wasn't properly utilized. But then again, Myth were able to work with whatever lim limited resources that they had. Oh, good pick off there by the Love family, baiting out the Reina. They know that she likes to play aggressively. But there goes two one taps. So now they're very vulnerable here to any rotations, any lurkers here, Myth are. Uh, it's something else that, that I really enjoyed seeing there was the fact that they killed the Cypher it means that there's almost nothing to slow down this push. They go immediately proceed into the site. They got plenty of intel. They know that no one is holding the, the elbow or the connector. They're coming from defender spawn. So it's pretty much a free site for them. They don't have two smoke screens to work with. Jets, I believe, already used one early in the round. And, well, that was basically it. Morph, of course, they're not too hard pressed here. They're going to be playing this one incredibly defensive. Now, four to four defenders, of course, always with a natural advantage here. Here on Haven, a little bit more nullified just due to the layout of the map. But now, Cud is actually actually rotating on over to the A site as Freya will be scouted up in heaven. They're going to come make the call and make the rotations over to A as the spike will be planted by mid. Oh no, actually, they're going to force him to back off here a little bit. Hunter's Fury is going to completely whiff all three shots, but it will at least delay the spike plant. They don't really have enough time to rotate over to another uh, site here, Hound. Well, good um, idea. Oh, wait, though, new gen may actually get in the face of Morph, but it's got to be very wary on how that's going to be wow. working out for him. Very interesting uh, choice oh, to actually go for. Oh, he's going to get one, but that might be enough here for the myth. It's a 1v2. They just need to delay the defuse here. It doesn't even need to live, as that's going to be the omen. He, I believe, teleported? Where, where did he go? I think he teleported, actually. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to catch it, and they will be able to get the kill on him. So Morph getting the job Defenders done there win. overall. Not sure if he was trying to channel the ulti there, but standing out in A long there through that hallway there, easily able to spray him down, even through the smokes, and quite a bit of a long map there. Lots of very patient play overall. Yo, yo, microphone check. Make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone. I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a Part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic